done introducing the diagnostic kit, hardware parts, and then is uh, some connection precautions, right? Okay, so next we will get the software application on the Android phone to work with it, uh, you know, to make it, you know, um, take a real simulation on troubleshooting a uh, computer desktop motherboard, okay? All right, so now uh, let's get started to uh, download the APP first. Okay, I get a Android uh, phone here. And then uh, next, what we'll do is uh, make sure we connect to the internet, Wi-Fi, okay? And then uh, launch the Google browser, type in the address, really easy to remember, okay? A M Z dot R U N dash slash 5 Q oh Q is here okay and then capitalize H and then small letter Y okay remember this A M E Z dot R U N dash slash 5 Q capitalize H and then Y okay and we will visit the Anderson Cloud Drive we see the new latest 7.1 edition APK that file is for Android. Okay, we single click on it, we single click on it. Okay, and then the see upper right here, it is a download, click on download, and then wait a little bit, it will start downloading about 4.5, so 4.75 mega, megabyte. So we just need to wait a little until we start uh, downloading, okay? Okay, we can see the download progress here. It's about a minute left though. While it is downloading, I would like to, uh, you know, uh, discuss a little bit more about the APP here. Uh, since this is the new latest a uh, APP for Enjoy, so which is uh, Google printing and, you know, uh, we probably need to uh, allow uh, the installation of the APP on our, on our phones to grant, grant the rights to install to proceed. And then, you know, uh, Android device, no worry, it comes with its own security check. It will check the APP installation and then everything passed okay and then we can start using it, okay? All right, so we probably need to wait uh, half more minutes though. A uh, couple, a few more minutes, uh, sorry, about 20 seconds, almost done. Alright, it is about done downloading. And we will let the system check and then we'll proceed to the installation. Okay, see, uh, this is the file download 4.75, right? And then we click on it, okay? Oh, wait, probably I clicked the wrong place here okay you will ask to install yes click on install and then it okay here don't click on open yet okay we need to click on done because we have still some some steps need to prepare you know before we can click we can launch the app if we click on launch the app now we will go back and then quite messy you know uh, maybe forget where we should you know, to continue or to start again, okay? So now we're done with the installation, we can close it, all this, okay? And then we will see the icon here, if 7.1 is over here, right? Okay? All right, so next to do is, uh, we need to, we have the latest Android app installed on our Android phone. Then we need to turn on the diagnostic kit Bluetooth hardware, right? So we can connect it, use our phone to connect it, right? So we need to use this wire, this built-in, built-in, you see? Remember the built-in USB wire? It will turn on this Bluetooth modules. Okay, so we can, we remember, use the Android 5V charger to provide the power. Don't connect this to the motherboard. USB okay, although it is the same USB type. We must use the 5V external power source. Okay, once we connect to the power, we see the lights here is blinking, right? This 
it, which is the Bluetooth in indicator. It means it's standby waiting for pairing. Now we go back to our phone here and then this and then we will go to the control setting, right? Setting control here. And then we watch the Bluetooth pair new device. Wait a little bit, it will show up a new Bluetooth device. Okay, see, we see a new Bluetooth BT and then a BT10, right? We click on this. The password is address four zeros or one, two, three, four. I test it myself. One, two, three, four is the right one. Okay, and don't worry about the two check box. Just click on OK. And then pairing will be done pretty quick. All right, so it is connected, right? All right, so now we're done with the Bluetooth pairing with the device and the and our our master diagnostic card and the Android phones. All right, now next we need to do is we can launch this new latest app. Click on this app, and then don't worry about the first page talking about whatever it is. Just click on the last part. Last part. I already know this, and then. Okay, we see the diagnostic main menu, right? Oh, this is refreshing. A lot of information with LED and you know some descriptions here. But from the top, we see please follow this step below. Okay, actually we already done a lot of them. So we watch now. Remember we pair our Android phone Bluetooth with our master diagnostic card. This is the uh, hardware levels pairing. Now we need to do is the application level pairings. We need to let not just this Android phone, we need to let this phone's application, the new latest app to work, to know what device it needs to talk to and work with. Okay, so we will add this uh, masterboard device in the app. So click on the upper right corner here, right? And then we will see the BD10, correct? And then click below, and then BD10 click, click on once, and then watch the top. See the status change to connected to the diagnostic card. This this is pretty pretty quick, right? So now we have the top status showing connected to the diagnostic card. So the so the application and the phone completely connected with our you know master diagnostic kit. And now you see the light is not blinking anymore because it is connected. So we will be stable you know lights on okay so now what we need to do is we can start the diagnosis but we need to make sure we understand USB is the first prioritized option for us to check on the motherboard correct because a motherboard have a USB LPC you know uh, PC, uh, PCI PCIe you know a lot of different connectors and then our first prioritized uh, ports is using the USB and then we will need to take our USB cable out this is the USB cable right okay remember again this wire built-in USB running from the master board is for powering on the board itself for and for the Bluetooth just for power and then this USB cable is it, it, it will take the data analysis so it, it will participate in the USB diagnosis okay this is the new latest breakthrough technologies and I will show you how to <coughs> excuse me how to wire the USB all right now we use the micro USB type this cable <coughs> two sides right the small one goes to the master board VA board make sure we connect it right just little yeah just a connected little bit no need to push all the way in there's no in enough space okay and then <coughs> The, the other side of the USB cable, okay, this is uh, the full stand. We didn't connect it to the computer, any like any USB port we want, okay, and then we plug it in, all right, and then we hold it in one hand, and the other hand, we need to power it on, okay, let me grab a screw drive first, and then. See, we have the 
computer like 24 pins power right this power cable connected already four 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 pins connect as well remember don't forget these four pins power cables uh, i mean the power connectors otherwise the computer will keep rebooting rebooting itself okay and then now we can power it on please watch okay well okay let me grab the android phone out okay now we need to watch out once we power on once we power on the motherboard the screen will change the diagnosis will you see it says test in progress please wait right okay make i uh, make it clear and then let, let it run the top it will run full probably until 99 or 100 progress so it depends on different type of list of component there okay see and then so see we we are done with the uh the diagnosis it says what please fix the signals indicated by the off indicators okay and then uh, if you uh blah 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 you know all this point us to see we see that uh, at the lower right here it's a current 51 Code 51, according to our menu, it points to the computer memory RAMs. So yes, this computer memory has some problems. Okay, so we will check on the memory. Let me pull out one of them and then see if, and redo the diagnosis and see if it give us another, another result or not, okay? All right, let's put the phone aside. I need to power this off. I need to power this off first okay power off and then i will take the ram uh let's see which ram is that maybe, maybe this one is a four i guess take the memory out hmm. okay let me clean the pins with a uh, school paper rubber and see if we can get a better connection or, or what Okay, and let's plug the RAM back in. Okay, very good. I'm plug the USB cable. We put back the power connector to the motherboard and then plug the USB cable a connector again and see we go get our app okay maybe we can come we stop and now okay power on let's see what kind of results we have hope the ram is working properly now Oh, okay see this time the ram passed passed the test so it shows what oh wait it shows the u uh, wait the usb test passed cpu motherboard memory and usb controller all work right and then blah 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 you know and then the current code is 80 so it is not it's different from 51 so it tells us Maybe in past, this computer is working correctly. Okay, while you know we have the mother uh, the motherboard diagnostic card, uh, you know in the diagnosis procedures, the lights will flashing. This is very normal. Okay, don't worry about it. Okay, yep. And uh, this is all we got. If we need to know more about the diagnostic result, we can click on the menu. You know, go through all this step we want or we can go on help you know all those and then also here is at the lower left is that if we still have doubt you know we can go through all these points and also we don't understand clear or whatever and then okay so we a lot of thing to learn so now we get the uh, fourfold uh i mean overall process how this diagnostic keywords okay and then if you have any question, you know, I will 
contact me. Uh, I will help as soon as I can. 